live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. I play Pink Alicious, and Pink absolutely loves the color pink and pink cupcakes. And then she turns pink because she didn't listen to her parents. The show is a really fast paced one, one of the fastest paced shows I've ever done. Because uh, even in act two, we have a really fast song. It's the Peter and Pink predicament is what it's called. And then it goes into green food and it's just, it moves. Once you start, you are just going. That's colors, that's a blue, a problem, yes, but what to do? Kind of scary, yes, Looking like a giant fairy. First I'm pink, now I'm red, I love to bring my show instead. What to do? Gotta think, no more chips to Dr. Ink. Hey, I never got my sticker. What? My character is Peter, he's Pinkalicious's um, brother, and he secretly loves Pink, um, but Pinkalicious gets all the attention, so he has to kind of hide it, and his parents are trying to keep him away from the pink because they don't think that pink is right for boys, it's just a color for girls, and Peter's like, no, it's for boys too. It takes a strong boy to love the color pink to stand up to what all the people think. I got the pink. Tell me what you say. Peter does get overlooked by his parents a little bit, but I think that Peter kind of holds his own and gets his point when he wants to get his point across. Nobody cares if I eat my green food. Don't touch my race cars! Well, I play Allison, Pinkalicious' best friend. And um, Allison comes from a house that's not really that pink. It's mostly beige, a little bit strange. Wow. Can I have some of your pink and tightest? Where'd you get it? How much did it cost? Was it on sale? Nothing. I was eating cupcakes. Isn't it divine? Yeah, it's it was your best friend, who else did The you doctor? Play? She secretly likes to tap dance in the, you know, the waiting rooms, the doctor rooms, all that kind of stuff, yeah. So, and it's really exciting because this, w when she diagnoses pink with pinkatitis, there's only been one other case. It's, it's like this huge deal for her. So, well, why not break into a tap dance? <laughs> I used to choreograph a long time ago, before the kids, and um, and so you know I became a mom and I did the mom role, and um, and now I was really looking forward to choreographing again, and and it was a great, talented, super super talented cast. Um, they were very energetic. It was really fun. We did a lot of laughing at rehearsals, so it was a lot of fun. And they picked up all the choreography right away. When can we make cookies? Oh no, I have something very special for dessert tonight. Broccoli popsicle. I have two daughters, they're nine and seven, almost seven, so um, we've definitely grown up on the Pinkalicious and Silverlicious and Goldalicious and Purplelicious, so we had all the books, so the girls are really excited that I was playing the mom. No more cupcakes, no more cupcakes, no more cupcakes, no more cupcakes, no more, 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 she eats a lot of cupcakes and you know how we want her to eat cupcakes because we want to give our daughter you know the things that she likes but one too many you know um, is not too good. First day of rehearsal you know I was trying to recall you know 
singing as if I would to my real daughters. So, and it just like touched, touched my heart a little bit. So I did, I had a little tear in my eye. Um, but it's true, just to tell, you know, your daughter um, that you can't get everything, but, um, but the good gifts are here. Sometimes they're right in front of your eyes and you don't see them. I play Mr. Pinkerton, Pinkalicious and Peter's father, uh, very kind of overprotective sort, always trying to save his children from any kind of pain or embarrassment or anything like that. If she doesn't get better, we'll, we'll never be able to go places or do all the fun things that we do. Well, we never go places. What do you mean? We, we do things all the time. I mean, just the other day, we went to... Um, well, no, there, there was that time that we went... When we were rehearsing with Mark, there was a lot of uh, talk about like the themes and about you know this is imp why everything in the show was important. Parents spend so much time trying to give their kids everything and trying to do what's best for them, and not realizing that what's really best for them is to sit and talk to them and to you know help them with their homework and find out what they did during the day. And that's kind of what that moment is: realizing we need to spend more time with them instead of just trying to give them everything. Get what you get, and you don't get upset. One of the messages that is really important to me is that you get what you get, and you don't get upset. Um, I think that's just really important for kids to understand, and adults as well. Most of all.